Welcome to Books on Air, the podcast you don't want to miss. You're about to get a sneak preview at what goes on behind the scenes with authors. We'll find out their secret recipe for creating a book. We'll tell you where they get their ideas, and you will get the scoop on their next project. Want to know more? Well, we'll tell you where to find them on social media. Are you ready? Okay, let's meet today's author. Joining me is Carl Miller, and he's here today to talk about his book, The Presence of God, Living the Empowered Life. Now, Carl is a marriage and family therapist, as well as a senior chaplain at a maximum security prison. He's got a Master's of Divinity and a Master's of Science in Counseling. He also conducts workshops and seminars around the nation. Carl, welcome. Good to be here. You've got such an interesting background. I love it that you spent... 35 years in the ministry as a preacher and and an administrative preacher, and then you went to a maximum security prison, and you were there for 14 years as an inmate reentry instructor and a chaplain. How did that happen? I have to ask that question. Well, I wasn't looking for it, but I heard an opening was available, and I also needed a another job and I was kind of interested in though I had no previous experience but I was interested in it and so I applied and I was hired and I I enjoyed uh, working with uh, inmates uh, who were uh, supermax kind of inmates uh, coming from other prisons and it was the uh, individual cells for each person and it was very interesting Wow, that sounds like a scary place to work to me. (laughs) Was it? Well, it actually was was the safest place because uh, I had no contact with any of the inmates because uh, they were all in their cell by themselves because uh, of the crimes that they had committed. And so I would go every day, see all the inmates and uh, distribute books and uh, greeting cards and and talk with them and I I had a good relationship with me and and they with me because I always brought them things <laughs> if they wanted. Aha! Uh, uh-huh. so, the secret. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did, I have a sense of humor too. <laughs> how did you come to be an author? How did you decide to write this book? Well. I didn't intend to, um, but when people came to me with various problems in their life, and I said, well, uh, how do I solve this problem? And I believe that the Bible has the answers, the solutions to all of our problems, but we just don't know where they are. And so I I spent a lot of time, uh, several years, uh, researching the entire Bible and trying to find patterns and uh, trying to find answers. And I discovered some things in the scriptures and talk Jesus, talk Jesus talks about a quiet place where he went to. Uh, so he didn't go crazy. <laughs> and because he spent time speaking with his heavenly father. And I noticed that was a pattern that he, he did for himself. And so I utilized that among other kinds of uh, patterns in the scripture and then i started putting that into practice with some of the people that had various problems and i discovered that they not only could experience a tremendous loving joyful confident relationship with with jesus uh in the quiet place of their own choosing but they could also in his arms take a look at any wounds they've ever experienced in their life and experience a totally mentally, emotionally, physically release from those hurts. And I thought, wow, I have never seen this happen before. And so I got to write it down. I got to, because it's going to be lost. And so, because I saw the effect on people's lives, I decided I've got to write write this, even though I didn't intend to write a book about it, but I finally did. 
and the belief and the, my passion to do it, after several years, it was finally accomplished. And uh, so that other people could do the same thing. Now, you call this Christ Care Counseling. Is that right? Right. And that's, that's your counseling for the, the therapy that you do in your therapy business. Yes, and um, I used to have a business um, just doing that, um, but now I'm a full-time pastor again, so I do counseling at the church where I'm at. Um, but also, I've also done, like you said, uh, workshops for uh, churches and various uh, groups of people on this subject and uh, made the book available so that people could uh, utilize it. And it's so simple that people can do it on their own even, and they don't have to tell anyone about whatever their hurts or wounds are, but they can experience a complete release from them. And uh, that is what's tremendous. I love the way that you have put this, and I love the way that you talk about the quiet place. Now, the book also has a companion workbook called a spiritual Imp- excuse me, a spiritual empowerment guidebook. And that's where people can almost use that document as a, a journaling process to help them get to their quiet place. Is that a fair description? Yes. Yes, it is. There's uh, places where after they go to the quiet place, they can write in there what that quiet place looked like. It could be a meadow, the beach, wherever they want it to be, and they do whatever they want to do in their quiet place. And then they write down a few words. What were your thoughts? What were your feelings? Um, and if you saw Jesus in that quiet place, what was that like? How did he feel toward you? And it, it's, for 21 days, there's a, a places where people can kind of like log in their experiences and the reason for 21 days, because anything you do for 21 days, once a day at least, uh, for 21 days, it becomes a, a memory. It becomes habit. Uh, it becomes a part of you. And people have noticed in doing this, uh, they an increased sense of self-confidence and peace and uh, and joy in their life. Uh, it just comes kind of naturally because of eventually Jesus' presence with them, holding them even in his arms. And it's just tremendous, just that part alone. I think the world is so crazy right now, and we're all going through so much that a book like this and a workbook like this would be so valuable to an individual because I know so many people are feeling the stresses and the strains of, um, you know, their jobs going away or being trapped in their houses or all of the racial strife that's going on right now. People need that quiet place. And I I love the idea that you're talking about today. I think that's really a, a, such an important concept, especially right now. Always it's been important, but especially right now, it seems so relevant to me. Yes, um, it's so simple, though. The, everything a person does in this, they can do on their own, is so very relaxing from beginning to end. Uh, they experience, can experience not only the presence of Christ holding them in their, his arms, but experience a complete acceptance and uh, love and peace and just a tremendous, just for a few minutes and playing a very relaxing music in the background. And people just feel so renewed and relaxed after doing this simple exercise. And it's like you said, it's very healing, but it's very natural. Would you share a reading from the book with us? Sure. Um, there was a, a person, uh, oh, about 26 years old, and she came to me with a problem. She said that uh, she couldn't stand to be with her dad, f- talking with him for more than a few minutes at a time. And she felt intimidated by him, tense and anxious, even though she was a grown adult. 
And she traced it back to her. She experienced as a child with her dad. But in Christ's arms, from the quiet place, she went back to look at this hurt. And she said, in looking at my dad, he looked really rather weak and insecure and afraid. I didn't feel any hurt from him. I felt secure peace within and compassion for my dad. I felt stronger and more confident. And as my quiet place music ended, after looking at this hurt, my body was totally relaxed. Two weeks later, my family and I stopped over for supper with my parents and discovered myself talking with my dad for about two hours without any feelings of intimidation or tension. I felt safe, secure, and at peace on the inside. I felt the strength and confidence to be able to talk with my dad from an adult's perspective rather than from a child's painful memory perspective. I knew then, she says, my painful distorted memory from the past was gone, released, having been replaced by a memory of security, peace, love, and compassion. This strengthened my relationship with my dad, even though he never knew what I did in my quiet place. I'm so thankful, she says. I think that is a wonderful, wonderful story and a wonderful example of how positively this whole idea can work for a person. The idea that she's healed a relationship with her father is just so wonderful and powerful. It struck me as so sad that all those years she and her father had been estranged, in her own mind at least, because I'm sure he had no idea. I think that's a wonderful part to share. Thanks, Carl. You're welcome. Now, you've not only written this book, but you also wrote another book, and you made a comment to me that I think is a relevant comment that people who are listening who may be considering writing a book might appreciate. The other book that you have written is P.S. I Love You. Tell me how that book came about, because the story sounds like it's very interesting. Well, again, I never intended to write a book. Uh, I was a pastor at the time, and I believed the Bible was important to read. But then I started thinking about, well, it's kind of like God just talking to us and writing love letters, so to speak, to us. And so I put a small passage with the blank lines in the short little letter, love letter from God to the person, and they could write their first name and all the blank lines in the love letter, and it'd be very personal then. And I did that in the bulletins for a year. And then someone encouraged me after knowing about it, well, why don't you put it into a book? And because of that one person's encouragement, I'd say, yes, I will. And I did, and with the help of my parents, I printed 5,000 books, and uh, I didn't know, well, what do I do now? And so I, I started finding out information of how do, how do I advertise this, and I eventually advertised it in a uh, Christian bookstore uh, catalog. And um, I said, here's a free book. Uh, it only costs a dollar for uh, postage, and uh, and all across the country, bookstore it began ordering the book and but I did it because I one I believe that God is talking to us through the Bible and it's like love letters personal one to one and that's what uh, drove me so to speak to write the book otherwise I w- wouldn't have done it well you're also a composer You've written some song lyrics. Tell me a little bit about that. I'm curious. Well, again, you didn't mean to. I've never done it before. (laughs) But it was, again, a belief that God loves us, each one of us. And so the title is P.S. I Love You. And so I wrote the words. And then, well, you got to have music to it. But I didn't know anything about writing music, never done it before in my life, but it became so much of a passion within me. I started just, I don't know, 
the music just kind of came to me of what to uh, not only write, but also the music too. And um, I finished it, but I need to actually put it into a song sheet and then distribute it. But um, that's why I did it again. Uh, and that's something I learned that if you believe in something strong enough and you have a passion and you envision doing something, you will discover talents that you never knew existed in your life. You're stronger than you think you are. And I think you have a real creative streak, a real creative mind that um, you, whenever something tickles that creativity, it begins to snowball in your brain and becomes either a book or, in this case, song lyrics called In Your Presence. Um, I think that that's, that's a gift that you've been given, a gift of creativity, and I think it's very, very powerful. I'm sure that our listeners are curious and interested about where they can find the book. Now, I always check Amazon because that's the, the big boy book dealer now, and that's where most people go for their books. So if our listeners will just go to Amazon, and there's always a search feature there on that first page, and if they will put in the title, The Presence of God, Living the Empowered Life, by Carl, C-A-R-L, Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R. Your book will come right up, and they can purchase it right there. Now, I believe they can also buy it on your Facebook page. Tell me a little bit about that Facebook page, Carl. Yes, it's called Christ Care Counseling Facebook. And my Facebook page will come up, and... um, You can uh, order it um, and pay for it through PayPal, and then I will send it out immediately. Um, So if you want to uh, get the book as soon as possible, that's a very fast way, because as soon as I get the notice of an order coming in, I send it out the very same day, so you'll get it, and it's um, $12.95 plus uh, tax and postage, but um, that's a way in which you can get it also. That's getting it directly from the source as well. Yes, and I might even include uh, a few other things of uh, like a, a letter. Do you? Yes, I love you too. Do you sign the books? Yes. Um, they have their, you know, their name. If they would like me to assign a book to whoever is ordering, I would do that. Uh, I will autograph the book because sometimes people just like to maybe give it to them and not autograph it to them personally. So that they should tell me, let, let me know. <laughs> uh, but I will autograph each book. Um, Terrific. I'll, also include their their name to whomever if they would like me to. Well, that's one of the reasons to come straight to you. Now we've talked Absolutely. about we've talked about a great deal, and I I know that you will have final thoughts that you would like to leave the listeners with. What do you want to say to them? You're face to face with our listeners, Carl. What do you want to leave them with? Well, I would just like to say that for anyone who would like to have, a, to experience a peace, a love, a security, um, a release from all the wounds that they've ever experienced in their life and feel so free, so confident. Um, this book can be a tremendous help to so many people in our country today. And I'm sure everyone knows of other people who are, have wounds in their life, and, but they don't need to carry it around anymore. They can have them released in a very easy, uh, relaxing kind of way. And again, too, if anyone would like workshops on this subject for groups, churches, wherever, 
I'm willing to go wherever it takes to, to get the message out because it's so important. I believe it's so important. Carl, I couldn't agree with you more. Thank you so much for being our guest today on Books on Air. It's been such a pleasure to talk with you and to hear about your important work. Thank you very much. You can find The Presence of God, Living the Empowered Life by Carl Miller on Amazon. You've been listening to the Books on Air podcast brought to you on webtalkradio.net. You can also hear this podcast on iTunes as well as iHeartRadio. I'm Suzanne Harris. I hope you'll join our next Books on Air podcast. And remember, it's the place to be. Thank you so much for listening.